Hello, what is up? My name is Vincent. I'm super excited to be here. If you did not know, I am a game designer. I'm a published game designer. I've released several tabletop role-playing games as well as card games and board games. And uh, yeah, I'm also a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! I grew up with the show. I watched it with my dad every Saturday morning. Got into the card game. Got super into the card game, actually. And just have a ton of fun with it. And so I thought, why not make a tabletop RPG inspired by Yu-Gi-Oh! just so people that love the series can dive headfirst into this world and just have a ton of fun. So, with that being said, it is over on Patreon, but it's absolutely free. Uh, currently, I just have it open to, to the public. I do believe you have to have a Patreon account in order to look at people's Patreon posts, but aside from needing an account, uh, as long as you just follow the Patreon, you don't have to even give any money, and you can check out this Yu-Gi-Oh! tabletop RPG. So with that, it'll give you a link to the current rules being written. And what's cool is you can also like highlight something that you may have a question about. You can click add comment over here and you can add whatever comments you have if there is questions that you have about the RPG. Now it is a work in progress, but the skeleton and the foundation of everything is definitely here. We have the, the main world, which is kind of like your, you know, your main regions that you have across. And one of the most exciting things for me is the the races uh, now if you're unfamiliar with me or my work uh, you should know that I work with uh, d6 systems um, that is my favorite way just because I think it's very easily accessible I grew up on six-sided dice everyone has six-sided dice laying around their homes uh, as long as you're at least decently cool and uh, yeah it just it, it kind of invokes to me like a childhood charm and I think that you know, the, the main reason why you want to play a tabletop role-playing game is for the narrative and the story. So I don't think dice should be something that gets in the way of that. So that's why I choose D6s. Anyways, uh, you have the different races. Of course, you have humans, you have elves, you have beast warriors, fiends, zombies, pyro, machines. Uh, just giving you all sorts of interesting things. Now, honestly, this sounds like so much fun to me because like there's so many interesting things you can have. Like There's different... Um, like racial abilities you can get. So like the Pyro can have Molten Magic. Whenever you cast a spell, you may store up to 1d6 um, and tells you what storing is, which is an, a, a unique mechanic that's not even seen in my other tabletop role-playing games. You can actually store your dice, sort of like a Dungeon Dice Monsters uh, type scenario, and then you can use the stored dice results later on to, to cast more powerful spells or to amp up your abilities. Um, with this, there is uh, spell slots, which you can use for your spell and trap cards, or your spell and trap abilities, rather. And, uh, yeah, like, everyone has access to this. Now, if you're more spellcaster-focused, you're going to have more of these slots to use. But, you know, it pays homage to the spell and trap cards that you would actually find in the series or in the card game. Um, outside of that, we have the classes, which... Your, your main classes break down between the warrior and spellcaster, so it's not a very class-based tabletop RPG. It's just whether or not you'd rather be more warrior-focused or more, um, you know, spell-focused. Uh, with that, we have um, some some of your classics. We have, you know, Fissure, Shield and Sword, Axe of Despair, Mystical Space Typhoon, uh, Cold Wave, Magic Cylinder, Dark Hall Regeke, a bunch of cool stuff. Also, uh, Elemental Attributes. Um, every character chooses an elemental attribute, just like in the card game, how you will have like the flame swordsman with the fire attribute. In here, uh, you choose your element, and it gives you different bonuses as you level up, which goes from everything to having resistance from that element, to being able to imbue your weapons of that element, to actually being able to heal from the ele element whenever you're at your you know highest level. Um, it goes over some unique equipment. Uh, and how spell casting works. Now, the foundation for this game does revolve around other worlds, which uh, you can check out all the current rules for only a dollar on Patreon. But even if you didn't want to do that, uh, as for as little as a dollar, um, you could still see the backbone and creation of this game uh, here, um, and still get a good idea for how to play. Um, of course, you know, with the systems I make, it's you know a very simple D6 resolution system. So. If you have, you know, it's just like most tabletop RPGs. You make a dexterity stealth check, you roll a six out of dice, add it to your result. The guy running the game, which we call the World Master here, the World Master determines the difficulty should be a, you know, let's go with a 10, you know, somewhat, you know, not quite, you know, challenging, but a little, a little, you know, a little tough. Um, as long as you get a total of 10 whenever you make that roll, then you're good. If you'd like to learn more about this or be able to ask questions to me directly, the best place you can do that is our Discord. 
In our Discord, we discuss anime and gaming all the time, uh, whether it be video games or tabletop games. And uh, we just like to have a lot of fun. So jump in our Discord or be sure to leave comments on the document directly. I'm looking forward to adding more content to this. So we'd love for you to be able to stick around for that. We also have tons of other Yu-Gi-Oh! content on this channel currently. And we have like a new Yu-Gi-Oh! format video uh, that I'm not sure if it's released by the time you see this. But you should check out that video. I'll be sure to link it uh, whenever that comes out. And we have some really awesome, uh, unique Yu-Gi-Oh! videos that you have not seen elsewhere. At least I can't find it anywhere on YouTube. So if it's on YouTube, uh, it's it's not very present. So we're going to do some really cool stuff involving uh, new, unique things that you haven't seen done in Yu-Gi-Oh! before. Especially if you like the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! show. So be sure to stick, stick around for that because there's going to be some really cool things. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate you. Stay awesome. I guess I have no choice. It's time to save the world. <laughs>